And then I'd go somewhere slightly different. So. Tillamook, Oregon. We're pretty much on the Wilson River. Beautiful little Airbnb property that we have here for the week. Getting ready to do a new video shoot. We've got a new product coming out and the conditions that are outside are really perfect for the exact light that we're shooting. Time to make some coffee, slam it, get on the road at 5.30 and uh, get some morning filming in. Blake and Rachel are uh, sleeping outside in their truck camper. Uh, Sky Pixel Media, so we're really excited. We'll keep you along on the journey. But, uh, come check it out. Get a little bit behind the scenes of what a video shoot looks like. We made it to the beach. As you can tell, it's a little bit misty, a little bit foggy out. Continue on and go look at the uh, other section of Two Lane Road. It cool. was good. Got some good drone shots. Cool. Stoked. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Forgot where I was going. <laughs> oh yeah, me too. I'm not going there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, still day one. A little bit later in the afternoon, went back to the Airbnb. Got a couple meetings in. Got some photo editing in. Now it's the afternoon. Uh, we're out trail scouting, so we're headed to Brown's Camp OHV area or something like that. I'm just trying to find some cool areas out here in the forest and, I don't know, see what we can find. Uh, we made it to what's called Triangulation Point, quite literally on the tallest peak around. Beautiful views up here. Drive was a little sketchy to get up here in a couple spots. Pretty narrow shelf, shelf roads. They're trying to move the Bronco and I have the keys. So. Well, I have the keys. But I have only had I don't know. We got a hole in the tire. <laughs> They're the factory Goodyear tires, which we already knew we weren't super stoked with because they didn't have great traction. And now there's a hole in it. So we started losing pressure pretty good. Pretty gnarly descent when we started losing that tire pressure pretty quickly. We have a tire a hole right in this area somewhere. You can hear it. Oh, there's, oh, there it is. It's a slash. You can see it. So anyway, oh, that's going to be fun. So we got to fix that before nightfall comes and call it good. done. Now the crappy part is figuring out what to do this because it's not like a clean easy punctured that I'd be totally confident with with a plug. Taylor what did you do to your finger? Oh my god. Well I've been I cut my knuckles every time on god knows what like even like carrying coolers right to get into the door snap it on like the door jam. I don't know. So then I was trying to pop the center cap out 
and I used the hen that was already cut the last like day ago. And so now she's leaking again. You know what's crazy is like they make the band-aids the most common thing, the most difficult oh, thing yeah, to find. Thank you. You're welcome. Also, the are really nice under there. Pretty sweet, huh? Where'd you get them from? It's called Cabana Mode. It's a great company. Casey makes them. They're really affordable too. They're 29 bucks a piece. You can get them from Casey Highlight Stock Up. You're saying everybody should have these? Everybody. It's kind of like that no-brainer mod every single person should do. I mean, seriously though, they're $30. They're so cool, I have like 25 of them on the truck. A little dark out here, what are you guys doing? We are, oh. Go for it. Oh, you go, dude. You We're playing with notice. ratchet straps, because you know, I don't know anything beyond that. It's gonna be on I may not be a ratchet strap master, but what we're doing here is uh, rigging the black arm on the back of the vehicle here. It allows us to get stabilized camera shots at speed. Problem is there's not super good tie down points right here in the bed of the truck. So each vehicle is a little different. So we're just kind of getting creative and we're gonna make it work. I'm crossing our fingers for tomorrow. We haven't dropped one yet. Oh, look how full that is. I got to the meniscus. You remember high school science? <laughs> it's pretty funny. He says high school science like he doesn't have a master's in Whoa. biology. You have a master's in biology, Taylor? Sure do. Damn. It's actually, it's actually natural resources conservation. What color is that? <laughs> Did you think it was blue? The cyclone's playing tricks on you. No, Taylor's colorblind. His master's degree didn't fix his colorblind. Would you shut the <laughs> fuck up? <laughs> It really is just one big KC family. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's on video, but uh, looks awesome. This is just a backup in case the weather doesn't do what we want it to do. Uh, as long as the wind doesn't come out, then we're golden. This is great. It looks great. pretty early. So we're gonna get some tracking shots here. This is kind of the poor man's way to do it. Uh, we aren't gonna set up the black arm this time because we're just trying to move fast and uh, not dust out the camera. So we're just gonna get a parallax shot through the trees here as the vehicles come around the corner. We're gonna be going up and dollying up the hill. Should be cool. All right, that's good. Bro. You're gonna rip those those jeans, boy. <laughs> really? <yeah. laughs>
little bit of cold. You just gotta, gotta think warm. I'm at the beach. I'm at the beach. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm gonna get my coffee. Imagine, <laughs> imagine mon monologuing without, uh, without your coffee. I'm ready for my soliloquy. Today, it was just one more shoot out here um, in Pacific City, whatever this place is called, about 40 minutes south of Tillamook. Beautiful little town. There's a nice beach that we can drive on. So yesterday we're doing a lot of those beach shots. And then today we were doing a lot of the city shots driving through town. Just a really pretty area to go do all that. Wasn't quite as foggy as we needed it to be um, or was hoping it was gonna be. We came out and did some trail scouting. Trail scouting uh, the first day, the whole town was foggy. The whole beach was super fogged up. So we thought the rest of the shoot was gonna be like that, but it didn't turn out that way in reality. Randy, careful, dude. Oh, sorry. You're not supposed to put all your weight on one spot on that. Oh my God. I'm balancing. Don't put I'm your doing yoga. <laughs> uh -huh. This is why we don't have nice things. Uh, so anyway, so we were filming today, right? And now we're out of here. We're gonna go do some rock crawling uh, this afternoon. Get some better shots of the Jeep in the Tacoma actually off-roading, having a lot of fun. So now we get to go. We get to clean the vehicles. We get to kind of get all the salt and grime off of them. And get all the camera gear cleaned up. Get out there this afternoon and got some more fun in the woods. Aaron down tires, getting ready to go hit the trail. Today's a little bit more rock crawling day. Better to be prepared. We're already down one tire on the Bronco, so we don't want to be down two tires and really be screwed. I'm right up there. It's like the good kind of snap. Yeah. Let's back up. So we're gonna winch this badass Tacoma out. Well, just so you know, we wanna make sure wanna, he goes home. If you don't have it, piece. it's okay. I can winch to the tree, you can back up. <laughs> hey, just grab this. Or the shaft. I don't the know. I was getting, that I was pushing it pretty fucking hard. So right when I was fucking pushing it, something snapped in there. And for sure. So a little trail update. We had some trail carnage. Brennan's Tacoma is open, open, so no front locker, which is kind of to be expected on Tacoma. They don't come, none of them come that way from the factory, but it was open diffs in the rear as well, so no rear diff locker in that thing. That caused some problems on the trails. A little bit too much skinny pedal, just bound up inside of a kind of a, a little hole from some rocks there. Just didn't like that at all. Heard a pretty loud clunk. I mean, probably you can play the footage over this right now which sucks. We got him winched out, got him out of that section. Now we're on top of a graded road here in the middle of Oregon. He's been planning on putting a 
did, well, I think he was probably planning on re-gearing it, but now I think he's just going to go for a bigger axle anyway. It's going to work out fine in the end because it was something that needed to happen. You're on a Tacoma that's already on 37s, bigger, heavier tires, right? A lot more moving mass. You need something strong. So unfortunately it sucks for Brennan. Video shoots over. Good part is you'll see in the video coming out tomorrow, the next week, whenever it is. We've got a lot of beautiful stuff. So for him, it's time to build it better, build it stronger. And of course, you know Trail Tacoma. They're gonna get a lot of good content out of it as well. For us, now it's time to finish this video shoot up. Today is actually the last day. Always sucks when something happens on the last night. But hey, we're gonna get him down. We're gonna get him trailered out of here. He's got a friend out in Bend. Get it taken care of and get it wrapped up. And then uh, finish the shoot. That's a wrap guys, final day, it was a good shoot. Dude, that's money. There it is. That is beautiful with the sun beaming down on yeah, the side of the camper. That composition is perfect. Oh, good there. And look how high up you are, dude. <laughs> Woo! Okay, let's just stop there, Brennan. Back up a little bit. <laughs> and maybe come driver. Right here.